This is a great week to distract and we do that through invention. <laughs> guys, it's Terry. What's up, buttercup? We have a, a weekly reading right now, right here on deck for you for the week of January 18, 2021. Just remember, these are timeless readings, which means if you're not watching this or listening to this during the week of January 18, you're okay. Nothing's wrong. You will hear this at the right time, at the right place. This is a reading for the collective. So if you do want something more personal, more private, please feel free to reach out to me on my site, terryhuberman.com. I've got all of the animals hanging out here and I hope they're going to behave. So there's one more thing that uh, I realize I have been forgetting to tell you guys and it's super, super, super important. And that's that Energy is always moving, right? It's super fluid. And because of that, plus the fact that you have your God-given gift of free will, you're choosing your reality at any and every given moment. So nothing I say is ever set in stone. Don't be married to what I'm saying. First of all, I'm a human and I make mistakes, right? I'm interpreting information the data off of these energy light rate waves that I'm reading. You are your own best psychic. You know what to do. So it's more important that if something that I say doesn't make sense to you, it's more important for you not to take that advice than to actually take that advice, okay? This is a reading for the collective. And remember, you are always choosing your own reality. All right, so with that in mind, Team Terry gave me a power word for you guys. Yes, yes, and that power word is in. So for the week of January 18th, 2021, again, this is timeless. The best way for us to navigate our way through this human experience is through invention. Now, what does that mean? Now, it means creativity. It means creating something, making something. Now, that can be in your physical reality, a literal invention. Oh, I don't know, like electricity. Or this can be in the non-physical realm, which is transmutation, right? Uh, transformation, where we might be taking something from nothing, right? We're being, um, we're inventing something, or it could be absolutely positively something that just hasn't been created yet. Energy is never destroyed, okay? It is just transmuted, alchemized, and transformed. So that's why I'm saying you could, with the non-physical, easily invent something because it's all the energy of it is already there. So I know that this is the week of the actual transition uh, of power in the US of the presidency. I predicted that it would go smoothly and I still think the bottom line when the actual transition is done, it will be peaceful. Right, But you have to understand that people are always choosing their realities, whether they're choosing to be an asshole or they're choosing to not be an asshole, right? So with this week, you are able to invent ways for yourself to distract yourself from the stress and anxiety that will be happening this week. But that's your choice and that's up to you, at least in the US. And those of you who are not in the US are probably laughing at us and that's fine. Totally get it. <laughs> but that is the thing, you guys. What can you do to invent distraction for yourself this week so that you can keep yourself in alignment with your bigger picture? Remember, you're here to help uplift humanity. So how are you going to do that if you're so distracted and you're so bogged down in the dense energies of belittling or being bullied or blame or shame or guilt or whatever, right? So this is a great week to distract. 
and we do that through invention. Okay, so let me pull some cards for us. Thank you, Team Terry. That was a really wise, wise, wise power word, invention. I like that. Invent ways to distract ourselves from the energy of this week. See, a lot of us who are watching this are empaths or people who are highly, highly sensitive. And when we're highly sensitive, that does mean that oftentimes we are allowing outside energetic influences to influence our own field, our own individual field. And if we're gonna do that this week, we're definitely gonna have to invent and come up with ways to distract from whatever is happening out there in the bigger picture. All right, you guys, here we go. Time to do a reveal. We have the nine, yes, nine of clubs. This is very, very good for uh, determining, well, not determining, um, nine usually means completion, the end of something, which we can say is the end of, at least in the US, you know, transition. Well, it's the transition of power in physical reality too. So there will probably be some sort of like physical evidence um, of a transition or a change, okay? We have El Venado. Woo, love it, love it. Time travel, explain that in a second. We have playfulness, excellent, and we have hanged man. Okay, so we have the hanged, this is the energy that we are dealing with the week of January 18th. Hanged man, playfulness, El Venado and the Nine of Clubs. Okay, when I put this together along with what my team's power word was and the best way for us to navigate this week, first of all, this week's gonna actually go fast. That's the whole time travel thing. So there might be some sort of time distortion. So don't think that you'll have enough time to put something on the back burner or to put something on hold. This week's gonna go super fast and you're, and you're gonna be asked to, um, you're going to be asked to, to step up super quick, super fast. So that's why you want to make sure you have everything in place. Okay. So, um, this week goes fast, which is really great because a lot of us may still be hung up on the past. Let it freaking go. It is time. It is just time. It's a new year. We're still in January 2021. Let it go. There are so many people out there who are so angry about what has happened, what is happening, and what will happen. You want to know something? Nobody's got any control. No, no. Nobody's got any control, which is why we have the capability to choose our experiences so you can change it. Now, being playful about things and um, completing projects in your physical reality are what's going to help you move super fast this week. So there's a lot of things coming to a close or a completion this week. Obviously, we know what's going on in the US, but personally, it's about you letting go of the past too, trying to be as inventive as possible in regards to becoming more playful. Distract yourself with things that make you feel like uh, you're happy-go-lucky, really warm, gregarious, outgoing inner child. And you'll find that this week goes so much easier, quicker, and faster for you, okay guys? So the best way to navigate the energies of this week is really to be innovative, to distract yourself in the most playful way because things are coming to a close and let things come to a close. If it's the end of a relationship, let it happen. If it's the end of a job, let it happen. If it's the end of a presidency, let it happen. I mean, whatever it is, if it's the end of a mindset, let it happen, you guys. Let it happen in the most playful way. And you'll see this completion in some sort of way, some tangible way in your um, in your uh, physical reality. And by doing that, that's a type of surrender and leaning into the discomfort. And all you're gonna do is be inventive about it. How are you gonna let this happen? All right, you guys, I love this. This is really great. You know what I'm always saying. You stay connected. Stay connected to yourself. Stay connected to your friends and family. And of course, you can stay connected to me. Hey, why don't you join my Patreon spiritual community? We're a great group of folks. Every week, we meet up. We talk about 
all different kinds of things. We do all different types of exercises. There's group readings, there's workshops, there's energy shifting sessions. And of course there is connection with like-minded people. You're gonna feel at home, you're gonna feel engaged, you're gonna feel connected, and you're gonna find your inner beauty, your inner light so that you can help uplift people. So you can go to patreon.com forward slash Terry Huberman. Check out everything that I offer to you, for you, and with you. I guarantee that if you join our community, you will love, you will love our group. So stay connected and I'll see ya on the flip side. <laughs>